Hello YouTube, it's Harl here and I'm bringing you another Let's Play of Clash of Clans. So last episode we were trying to finish up upgrading this Town Hall 2 and to kind of get a little higher level. I've upgraded a couple of things since then, like the Army Camp, the Archer Tower, some Mines and Pumps. Trying to max those out as much as I can because I want to get to Town Hall 3 as soon as possible. Uh, we've been raided a couple of times and I've done a little bit of raiding off camera. Uh, most people that are raiding us are just trying to lose trophies and and some people are getting some resources but it's not that big of a deal because it's pretty easy to get resources on here. So I want to upgrade this elixir storage uh, while the duration of this video and uh, we'll upgrade uh, something else, I believe the cannon uh, here. I'm trying to do something different with the recording, I'm trying to commentate instead of actually live com uh, just to see how that goes. So. Uh, those two are going to upgrade, and then uh, we'll probably uh, do a raid or fast forward a little bit. But uh, we want to try to get to Town Hall 3 because the laboratory is at Town Hall 3. And with that, we can upgrade our troops. Uh, right now, we're not upgrading the troops any, so we don't have a laboratory. So uh, we're kind of wasting time is the way I feel, if you know what I mean. So <laughs> kind of stinks. So we'll fast forward a little bit and claim some rewards and uh, try to... Uh, get to that town hall is the main thing. We got raided a couple of times, uh, but it's not that big of a deal. It's not that hard to get some resources. Uh, and troops don't take that long to upgrade. So I'm also upgrading my barracks. Uh, so uh, we have more time to get that done because I think I had a lap or something. I don't know. I had a lot of elixir too. So uh, And then let's head into a raid. Now this raid right here, he's loaded. It'll fill both of our storages up if I can get to it. Um... For this raid, it's it's a little weird because it looks like everything's in the... It looks like all of his items are in the storages, but he has gravestones. So, I'm a little confused <laughs> of where the stuff is actually located. And we only have 30, 30 barbarians, so it's a little difficult uh, trying to come into this raid because all of his stuff is protected by a little bit of walls. And then he has buildings protecting everything. So my barbarians are going to try to go to those outside buildings before they go uh, into the interior. So it's a little rough to get those defenses down. And uh, they just pick them off while they're trying to take down the gold storage. And it's kind of inconvenient. But I end up uh, almost maxing out, or I do max out, my gold storage. So uh, I think those gravestones were a little misleading. It does look like everything is in the storages and not the mines and pumps. But I'm not for sure because I, if you think about it, people are kind of newbie at the beginning, so they probably don't pick up those gray zones. So now that uh, we have the gold, we're going to go ahead and upgrade the town hall. Um, that way, while the town hall is going, I can upgrade some other uh, other features because it does take three hours. And then uh, once that's done, then we have all the stuff and we can try to work on getting that laboratory as soon as possible. Uh, so while that's upgrading, I'll upgrade a few other things because there's a little lapse between the two upgrades there. But we'll go ahead and uh, probably fast forward through this until the town hall is almost complete. And I'll upgrade probably the elixir storage or minor pump um, just so to get those done while the other ones, uh, while my other builders free. So moving along, the town hall is almost complete. Uh, collect from the mines and pumps and... Uh, we're going to go with a raid and try to max out our storages as soon as possible. Uh, so when the town hall is completely done, we'll be good to go. So here's a, looks like, I don't know, town hall 4, town hall 3. I think it's town hall 3 with an exposed mortar. So the mortar is the biggest thing. It will kill archers and it will two-shot barbarians, I believe. So with the mortar exposed like that, it's not very helpful because you can easily just put barbarians on it and it won't even attack because it's too close. Mortars are only long ranged uh, type of defense. So you want to make sure your mortar's inside your base and not on the outside because it does not help this guy at all. So this guy had a lot of gravestones around. And so I figured everything was in the mines and pumps. Um, it was a little difficult getting to the gold, the gold mines because uh, they're in the middle of the base, and my barbarians didn't really do what I wanted them to do. They started going around the outside. I should have put them on the army camp instead of putting them on that top uh, pump. Uh, that would help me out a little bit more. 
because then they would have either went to the other pumps or they would have went to the cannon. Uh, but unfortunately, they're just going to sit there and hit at nothing and complete it all off. So this this raid, in my opinion, was a little bit of a fail because it was hard to tell where his stuff really were. And as you can see, his cannons are inside his base, so they're really effective uh, against it just picking off my barbarian, barbarians while they're trying to whack at nothing. So that's unfortunate, but we get a little bit of elixir and a little bit of gold, and that'll help us out while our town hall is complete. So I want to claim some rewards here, and uh, then we'll start building the low timed stuff. I want to build all the quick stuff uh, as fast as I can, and uh, while those run, uh, I can uh, upgrade troops or do a few, do a few uh, little here and there uh, raids, and then try to get uh, more up because uh, the mortar we get mortar at Town Hall three, and it's eight thousand. So. Uh, that's that's a big deal and we want to get that mortar as quick as we can so we can make a base design and then from there we'll be good to go so I'm gonna upgrade a couple of small things they only take a minute try to get all the stuff laid out a defense or a minor pump are so much more effective uh, just having one of them than upgrading another one so to keep that in mind you always want to uh, whenever you go to a new town hall you always want to lay your buildings out as quick as you can so we'll let those go, and then I'll fast forward here to another raid, and we'll try to get the gold for the mortar. And as you can see, the laboratory is 25,000 elixir, so that will take a little bit. So here is a prime example of a Town Hall 4 raid. As you can see, that mortar on the top, that's a big deal, but all it's doing is upgrading. Uh, so it, it can't shoot at us or anything, so that's perfect. He does have an air defense, but we're not, we don't have any air unit troops, so it's no big deal. So I'm going to lay my troops on the archer tower and the cannon, try to get those out of the way because they're exposed. His walls are around us, but as you've seen that red line, that's where you can lay troops. And uh, his red line is inside his base, so I don't have to worry about the walls. So, uh, so I took those two defenses down. Now I want to try to spread out some uh, barbarians and try to get to the other two defenses as quick as possible. And then I also want to sneak behind them and try to get to that storage. Uh, it looks like most of the stuff's... In the storage, he did have a gravestone over on the top right. Uh, maybe he just hasn't uh, picked it up yet. I'm not for sure. But I'm just going to hit them both. Um, because as, as you can see, um, I'm only hitting one mine. But I'm hitting that storage also. And it's going down a little faster. So I'm thinking most of it's in the storage. But uh, later on in the raid, you can see it goes down even quicker uh, whenever I start getting on the, on the mine. So I'm not 100% sure. But I'm trying to max out all my uh elixir uh mainly my gold because it's 8000 only can old 8500 8, uh so i definitely need to max that completely out for the raid but you always want to keep in mind when you're raiding like this if you see something upgrading that is awesome especially a mortar that means you know you can definitely attack uh from that side if you wanted to i didn't want to attack uh from the other side because it didn't have as much like mines and pumps and plus that cannons behind a wall uh, so, and then there's another archer tower at the bottom that I would have had to go through another wall. So it wasn't as effective for me to go from that route. So I went from the open route and it worked out perfectly fine for me. So now we're going to hit, we're maxed out on gold and now they're, they're hitting at the elixir storage and then they'll probably go to a pump too if they complete that. But once they max out, I'm just going to end the raid. There's no point of sitting around and waiting. I don't need uh, any trophies, so it's not that big of a deal. All right, just a few more wax up there. I max them both out. End of the raid, 11 trophies, lots of resources for my Town Hall 3. All right, so now we have everything maxed out, and we want to try to finish everything up. Uh, I have a couple more walls to build, but I'm going to save those till later uh, because I have plenty of walls to make a base. We really want to finish up the mortar and get it going. The mortar is going to take quite a while to upgrade, so we want to get that done. And uh, lucky for me, this is at like 10 at night. So I can finish this up and it'll be done by the time I wake up in the morning. So the mortar is, uh, is upgrading and now I have lots of elixir to spend on something. Um, it's it's kind of hard to tell, but since it's late at night, I want to find the longest upgrade that there is. <coughs> Excuse me. And that's going to end up being the uh, barracks. It's level 3. I'm going to upgrade it to level 4. And that will be the longest upgrade of 4 hours, which isn't terribly long. 
But uh, I don't want to wait four hours during the day. I'd rather wait four hours while I'm sleeping. It's a lot better for me, in my opinion. So we have all that upgraded. Now we're going to head over to a base design. And uh, we still need a couple more walls to upgrade, but we'll do that later on. We uh, really want to start on a base design. So with the base design, uh, it's pretty cool and easy now to do it. Since they have the village edit mode, you can just remove all and uh, quickly place all your stuff down. And they, it saves multiple ones as you uh, upgrade your town halls and stuff like that. But it's pretty awesome while you, um, than what it used to be. So... That's all I can really say. Uh, so the base design, uh, you want your mortar in the middle, as I said before. So whenever it's done upgrading, it will be able to uh, rain havoc on the archers and barbarians. And then we also want to put walls around everything. I want to protect my storages because most of my loot is going to be in the storages because I usually get online and uh, put all my st uh, collect from my mines and pumps as quickly as possible. I'm going to put walls around all that. And uh, I have just enough. I have a few extra, actually. Uh, but we also need to make seven more later on. But we want to put walls completely around there. And then uh, I have a few more defenses. So we want to put the defenses down. And uh, I'll put those on the corners. And I put my town hall on the outside because I'm not worried about trophies right now. I just want to protect my loot. And to protect the defenses, in a sense, I'm going to put buildings around the defenses. And then that will save, uh, it'll make the barbarians and archers have to go through a couple buildings before they're able to actually go through my cannon and my archer tower. And uh, that'll kind of protect them so they can kind of hit them beforehand. So the only thing that's really exposed is my town hall right now. Um, I probably should put a cannon up there by it somehow, but uh, then it'll leave it exposed. So it, it really, it doesn't really matter to me. They can have the few hundred uh, golden elixir they'll get from the town hall and the trophies if they want them because it's not that big of a deal but I'm just going to lay the buildings all around the outsides and uh, it will be complete so there's my base layout I hope you like it it's it's not it's nothing really difficult but this should help me out uh, since now I actually have walls and defenses and especially when that mortar is complete so but that's all I got for this episode guys I hope you enjoyed it I'll talk to you guys later